Okay, we're going to start with a joke this week. What has the TV show Agent Carter and my next door neighbour's kid who accidentally drank bleach that one time got in common? I didn't properly watch either of them. But here is Peggy Carter from JX Toys, one six scale figure. Here's the intro. Okay, so I've quickly taken this out of the box. I got this from tnsfigures.com and it finally got shipped. It took a little while, I don't know what happened. There was a bit of a gap between payment and shipping, not a big problem, but it's finally here. The reason I wanted this was mostly because I was hoping to try and get as many different representations of Marvel MCU characters as I can in my collection. So when this Peggy Carter figure popped up, I was like, yeah, definitely. Also, I think it's gonna look awesome next to my rescue cap figure from Hot Toys. But that's only if she passes the test. When you first initially open the box and have a look at this packaging, you're thinking to yourself, ooh, this might not pass, simply because JX Toys have just gone and photoshopped and stretched a photo of the prototype over the front with some simple logos. And yeah, I know, you're probably thinking that I've stretched the video out, but I haven't. Look, my hand's normal. That's a stretched out photo in the box and it doesn't look very good. So yeah, JX Toys, you need to work on your packaging a little bit more. Even a part-time student could come in and do a better job than this. So but anyway, it's not a big deal. You're probably not gonna display it with the box anyway. But how is this? Simple photo. The name is in the top left-hand corner, logo in the bottom right, simples. Then we turn it to the side, there's nothing there. It's nice and nothing on the back, which is good. Nothing on the side, nothing on the top, nothing on the bottom. I actually would have preferred if this just came in a black box or if they just had a simple square photo in the middle of the prototype, not all stretched out like this because this just makes it look a bit too cheap, if I'm honest. But that's it. And then we open it up, we've got a foam insert, pull that top off and that would be the figure inside. The figure's already out, so let's take a look at her. And here she is straight out of the box and you can see it's not a bad looking figure. It's quite simplistic. There isn't a lot to it and that's actually to its strength because if they'd have gone too elaborate with this they may have actually made a big F up. But as you can see she's in her World War II uniform, she's got a pair of tights on, she's got a pair of simplistic brown shoes and she does have her uh, badges on the lapel there, little gold badges, little sort of gold buttons there. Not much to it. There is a fastener here. I think you can do that jacket up one more time. I haven't done that yet because I just pulled her out of the box and put her in a quick pose. She comes with a gun and she comes with a slew of hands. And it's not too bad a head sculpt. If we quickly zoom in and have a look at it, we can actually see what they've done here. Okay, my first impressions are that this is exactly like the prototype. You can just see there, even though it's a stretched out photo, this is exactly what you get when you actually buy this or pre-order it. They advertised exactly what you were gonna get and I have to recommend them for that because a lot of figure companies, they like to put extra effort into the prototype and make it look amazing. And then the quality does drop off when you actually get the mass produced version. But they've actually gone ahead and done the prototype exactly like they were gonna do the mass produced version. And you gotta respect them for that because at least they're being honest. And we can see that the hair sculpt is really good. There's a lot of detail there. It does look like hair, which is always a bonus. And I really like the fact that it's sculpted because if that was made with realistic doll hair, we'd be in trouble because we'd all be futzing with it forever and we'd never actually get it exactly how we want it. So I'm really glad that they've gone with sculpted hair and the detail in there is really nice. The brown is pretty good, if not mildly a bit flat, if I'm being overly critical but it's fine because it looks a lot like the hairstyle that Peggy Carter had. And then we come in and have a look at the face and we can see there's enough of, um, is it Hayley Atwell, I think her name is, in there, but uh, it's, it's pretty good. There's even sort of like the uh, small little indentations around the eye here to identify her as a real human rather than a doll. The eyebrows are painted really well, nice detail. The eyes are nice and glossy, but they've also got a little bit of eye shadow just down there below the eye. If we zoom right in though, you can see it's starting to get a little soft around the eyes, but that's not too bad. And then we come down. Yeah, there's enough of a representation of the uh, actress there, but in certain angles, you do lose that likeness a little bit. 
but I do like that they kind of got that sort of stronger jawline of uh, the actress in there. And just moving down towards the lips, you can see they've done a really nice sort of straight paint job on there. Nice and glossy. And there is a small amount of uh, flesh tone flecking in there. Okay, moving down and having a look at the uniform, we can see that they've done some nice details in there. If we pull this back, we can see that they've stitched the pocket in there. These nice epaulettes, they've got really good. We've got the little buttons on the epaulettes. So I need to straighten her out again. But you can see they've got these nice little army badges just on her lapels there. And the lapels are really sort of flat to the suit and fit really well. These could have been a really puffy and stuck out and didn't really fit. But they've managed to actually get, that crease, get the creases in firmly to make it look like the lapels are to scale. We can come down, she's got these nice fine buttons. There's a, there's a lack of weathering in this figure, but I don't mind that too much because really, she's not really gonna be walking around in filthy uniform. That's not the character. The stitch is not bad. It's got all, all cleared around the back, slightly puffy around this bit. You can see those nice pleats just stitched in here. And they are sort of folded in really nicely. And they are definitely to scale. My only mild criticism is possibly the uh, upper arm here is a little bit short compared to the forearm, but that's proportions, it's not too big a deal. And coming down, we can see that that skirt is really nice and straight, very well made. It's got a nice pleat in the back, and there's not much to it to be fair, but the hemlines are really good. But obviously the restriction in the movement is straight up obvious because if you try and pull those legs apart a little bit to get into an action pose that skirt's going to need to be hoisted up more otherwise it's going to restrict the movement and we come down and they've given her these really sort of cool tights and they are slightly transparent because obviously the body is a natural flesh tone so what they've decided to do was give her slightly transparent tights and you can see a little bit of that flesh tone coming through which is really good for the color but not so good for the ankles because you can see that ball joint is really prominent you can actually see the details of the ball, ball joint through the tights you can see that lumpy sort of part of the foot there it's not too bad but i'd say everyone would have preferred a sort of a, a bit of a, a simpler design you could have just bought white tights no one would have been too suicidal about that and just had it so that these were protected by some sort of padding so to hide that joint a little bit more it's not too bad. I think some modifications are possible with this. And we come down, we can see the shoes and they are a little bit plastic fantastic, but they are supposed to be simplistic and they're not too bad. Excuse the uh, fingerprints on the stand there, but I've been moving this around and stuff. So, But obviously the stand does not come with this figure and that is simply because it's one of my own. And in actual fact, there is no stand with this figure. So you'll have to buy your own or use an existing one that you already have in your collection to keep her standing. Because I genuinely think she does need a stand. She needs something holding her up. And I've got the waist grabber here. If you use a crotch grabber, it's going to be stopped by this skirt here. So me personally, I think it's better to use one of these waist grabbers here. And you normally have one or two of them floating around because a lot of the figures you use, Sometimes they come with these and you'll just pull them out, throw them to the side and use a real proper crotch and you'll use a proper gr and you would use a proper crotch grabber. God, that took me three goes just to say proper crotch grabber, blimey. But however, you can see that she does in actual fact have some articulation. Let's just have a quick go at it. You can see she's got double jointed arms. She does have biceps swiveled. There is not a lot of restriction there. The arms can come out to about shoulder length and up to about there. And she does have some butterfly movement, wrist swivel just the there, which is really good. There was also some torso articulation. She can stretch quite far back and she can kind of rock forward a lot as well. So there is a really nice sort of range of articulation in the upper body and the head can look down a to her chin really and can look up about that far but obviously you can pull this off there's a bit of a rubberiness underneath but that's flexible and leg wise they come out to about there but then i suppose you could futz and get these uh this skirt up and she can go further 
She can definitely go further forward and back than she can to the side. And then oh, she's getting all her ladders in her stockings now because I'm moving them around so much. Baggy tights, no one likes those, do they? And she's got some wrist swivel there and there's also some ankle pivot. This is the weak part of the figure here, this joint. So be very careful. Okay, accessory wise, she doesn't come with a lot, but she mostly comes with a few like generic bog standard hands that you'd get with most one six scale female bodies. However, what they have done is they've actually gone in and painted the fingernails for you, which look pretty good. I mean, they're not amazing. There's a bit of sloppiness there, but when you hold it back to about this level, you can see they're red, they're pretty nice but they could have been done a little bit better but you still see there's some sculpting in the hands but they're just cut and paste generic one six scale body hands and obviously you get two fisted hands two gripping hands two trigger finger hands and two relaxed open hands and that's all you get except for this gun and this is a Walter Luger PPXYZ I don't know I don't know I made it up guys I don't actually know guns I'm an idiot I'm from the UK we don't really have that much interest in guns around here but obviously you can see it's pretty nicely sculpted I think this has probably been recast from somewhere else but the handle is very neatly painted they've put some brown in there they've also painted in two screws just for the handle to be held together but there's no moving parts in this you can't take the clip out you can't pull back the recoil part none of it it's just a solid simplistic plastic piece which is a shame I think they could have actually gone a bit more and you know, there's plenty of companies out there who can provide you with a, a bog standard generic gun, but with a removable clip. But that's all she comes with, guys. She doesn't really need to come with much else. She is Peggy Carter. Let's move to my final thoughts. And how do you like the revolving table, guys? I finally got one. Overall, I think the head sculpt's really nice. I think it's a decent likeness to Peggy Carter. The paint application is really well. The clothing is well stitched. It looks very movie accurate. I think the only problems really are the tights. Those are a little bit too transparent. They show off the ankle pegs a little bit too much. And there's a little bit of lumpiness in and around the ankle area. The shoes are really good, if not a little bit too clean. They do look a little bit plastic. But honestly, overall, this is a really good representation of Peggy Carter and at a really reasonable price. So if you are looking to get lots and lots of characters from the MCU, you could do a lot worse than grabbing this JX Toys Peggy Carter. She will look fantastic next to my rescue Captain America figure. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe. And if you could do me a favor now, if you can get the fuck out of my cave. That should stop under 13s watching the videos. Sure.